from the Japanese player. Nine, five. You can hear the screams getting a little bit louder as Sainet is now 9-5 up, closing in on the midway interval of the first game. And at this rate, she's going to get there much quicker. That was a good thinking by Mitani. Uh, she had it. She, it was a very deceptive stroke. She Probably she just couldn't control her racket. And that was a nice return from Mitani. And you could just see immediately, straight off the serve, how aggressive Sainia was being. Yes, and at the same time, Saina did play in her hand, and so Mitani was right there, so she could control the shuttle very well. She placed it on the cross court. And she was just not going to let her Japanese opponent get away, and so at the 11 point break, Saina Newal in control. We are well underway yeah. here in this yeah. India Japan Uber Cup semi final. The three sports, sports complex. Very important match, and so far, India have been continuing their charge. And we've seen over the last couple of days under the leadership of Saini Newa, okay, who is entering 11, the second phase of the first game up play. against Minatsu Mitani. of the drift there you would have thought. Yes, uh, unfortunately Mitani is not able to control the drift. I think she has to do it now if, uh, before it gets too late for her. Oh, she was having troubles with that yesterday as well. <laughs> and that was a very nice cross-court backhand kill. Seven, Yes, uh, and uh, what I feel Mitani has to do at this point of uh, you know s stage, uh, she needs to av avoid making Saina go for those uh, smashes, go for those attacking strokes. Uh, in fact, she should be uh, making her go for rallies, which Mitani's game is for. And it looks like Saina is completely aware of that, and that's why she's forcing the issue. Beautiful lift there. Such a difficult stroke to control. Yes, that was a good one. Uh, she is getting though. She caught the shuttle really Eight high foul. on the net and disguised her for, with another push. I think she should do this more often. But for that, she needs to move a little more faster to reach the shuttle high on the net. variety of play, switching up the shots. 13-8 now, Saina Newell in command. too much for her around there to deal with. Ended up a little bit long. Service back with Mutani now. 9-13. Ah! 
again. That's denied by the net. She was right there. Uh, she also took it uh, really high. You can see it right there. But I think a little control with the racket uh, was missing out there. And again, victim of the drift. Well, it has to be said, after playing in it for two days, perhaps Minatsu Mitani should be changing the game a little to deal with it. 14-10. And that was fantastic play from China. Yes, China needs to do this uh, kind of game because that will put pressure on Mitani. She is in a good lead right now. She, she shouldn't just let lose that lead, uh, otherwise the pressure is going to be a signer again. Well, she's five points away from that pressure right now. Quite comfortable. You're right, it can change in a second. And again, I'm, when I watched Mitani last night against Denmark, or yesterday morning, sorry, against Denmark, um, the Danes weren't coming with this aggression. They weren't coming with a second smash straight down so steeply as well. And I think that's difficult for Mitani to deal with. Mitani all over the court. It's absolutely a brilliant show by uh, Saina there, what you saw in that rally. And just to mention what you uh, spoke uh, in the previous point, uh, that uh, it's very rare to see uh, women smashing on the on a very high service. But yes, of course, Saina's strength has been a, a good hard smash. So she is very confident of that. So she just goes all out of that. So fine. Paying great rewards. ran into that, no fault of her own. 11-17. as the service has gone back to Japan. great rally up to that point. Uh, in generally the Japanese girls are very, uh, they, ju they just don't want to leave any shuttle and of course uh, they will fight till the end and the similar quality what we see in Mitani as well. And what's been making the difference so far of course has been Sina's impeccable backcourt play, disguise drops, hard smashes as you said. Get her another four points. And I think that may have been a little bit long. Is this a challenge being called? Yes. I think we see our first challenge of the game. The umpire has raised his hand. 18-12. Once again, of course, with the challenge system, every player has two challenges per match. And if the challenge is upheld, they keep those challenges. If it's not, it should be coming up very soon. Here we go. Oh, what do you make of that? Wow. <laughs> that wasn't just in. It was really in. So, bad challenge from Mitani. She's down to one. And Sanya. Maintains that 18-12. Look at that. That's that aggression again. Yes, absolutely. Uh, she pushed Vitani on her back and said she was completely uh, on the wrong foot. And Vitani somehow managed to reach the shuttle, but couldn't return it. 
Oh, very well. And that, that, there you see. Of course, there have been so many results that have come out this week and have gone against the predictions of the very best in the badminton fraternity. point at the moment and so game point for India's Saina Newal and I'm sure there's going to be a rather loud scream in this stadium should she get that point That's how you do it. And there's that screen. 21-12. The rest of the team very happy indeed. What action from court one here at the Three Ford Sports Complex. It is semi-finals, the evening session from the Thomas and Uber Cup. Japan versus India, and this lady here, Saini Newal, leading a nation in their continued charge towards the final. She's taken the first game, 21-12, and now she's going to be Second looking game. to be just as aggressive in this one, sitting with Bravo. me in the commentary box, right. Tripti Mugunde, the singles and doubles player active with the Indian national team. Now, of course, Sain is playing in the fast end now. Yes, uh, she got to be careful about that. I'm sure she is used to it. And uh, what I liked about Saina is uh, she she is back in her game, what she has been playing for the last two days against the top players. So here she looks really good on the court and I'm sure she, she could pull through this one. Well, you just see her there just moving straight off that smash towards the net. Yeah, uh, Jeevan, I think she has got the uh, strategy right and she is playing uh, along with that. She just has to maintain this complete momentum, what she is uh, going with, with the right strategy and the right movement. And I think it wouldn't be too hard for her. And that was very nice. Of course, the benefit of playing at the slow end is you can add a little bit more to your smashes. 
into the drift. So two one now. So low over the net. She's, uh, she's just using the absolute strategy to be used against Mitani. On the other hand, Mitani is completely playing contrast, allowing Saina to do what she wants to do. Uh, now that Mitani has to understand she's on the other side of the court from where she has to push the shuttle a little more harder. And uh, what we've seen in the last point, that her push uh, didn't come up to the back end. So uh, she has to take care of that. Because, of course, if it does fall short, then it's just an easy shot for Sainé to pick up. And that one's out. I don't think Tani's going to be using her second challenge after the, the first one. Three all, service back with Sainé. for those kind of smashes probably she has to put in more of those uh, and play which will help her uh, in her strategy oh just another one of those disguise drops this time didn't quite work out for her but her completion rate from them so far has been good enough now a slight lead for Mitani 5-3 from Mitani. <laughs> she probably wanted to use that second challenge early on though. But you're right, something has to be done if she's going to take something away from this. And that I think is the first shot that we've seen that Sainia has been a victim of that drip. So far her strategy has been very good on this fast end of the court. Yes, and uh, in fact, uh, Saina had a. In fact, the India whole of the Indian team had a chance to train here just before the tournament, so uh, they can get used to the con right. court conditions. So it is a little bit uh, advantage towards Saina with playing on the home court, the home crowd, and uh, everything. And of course, uh, not to forget that she is playing well at this point of time. Yeah. So uh, everything going her way now. Well, former world number one, Morton Frost, who's currently commentating on the Indonesia Malaysia Thomas Cup semi final, was with me and he said, and it was the best from Sanya he's seen ever literally this week. It was a really incredible performance, and so far, she's doing well enough here. And the head's dropping from Matani. She's run out of weapons. for a bit of court cleaning. Okay. Stand up, the drums are beating. And for one of the players, it's for support. Six, seven. And the other one, Black. the one we've seen on the screen right now something that has to be blocked out.
very nice shot there. Very beautifully played by Mitani. Uh, she caught her uh, Saina again at the back with that push and then was right there for her return and just took it so high and placed it cross court. So 8-6. See now, this actually happened yesterday as well. Because of that, she was in the sim uh, similar situation against Lena Kjarsvelt in that she found herself needing outright winners in the second game because she tried to play the rallies in the first game. And when they didn't work out for her, it was a little bit disappointing. Yes, what I see uh, from the first game and uh, until now, that whenever she has she has been leading or, uh, you know, she takes it a bit casual and uh, ends up making these kind of unforced errors. not able to uh, control her racket with the Sainas. Hard smashes coming her way. And don't forget that currently Mitani is playing in the favoured end of the court. So once it changes again. Yes, absolutely. She has to make full use of it. And uh, in fact, the score is 8-all. She shouldn't let uh, Saina go with a good lead. And that was beautiful. And as you said, she has trained on this court and she read that very well and played it with the drift. So, Sina Newell now closing in again on the midway interval, this time in the second game, 9-8. And it was an outright winner down the line on one side, followed immediately by the mirrored shot on the other side. 10-8. And you'd have to say, Tripti, that with a two-point lead at this point in the game, it could be disastrous for Japan. Well, let's see. Uh, in this format, G1, it really doesn't matter. And here you see uh, Saina wrapping up the first half by As we approach the business end of this first fixture, the semi-finals in the Uber Cup between India and Japan, Saina Newal in command and after a couple of really great points just now. Let's see what she can do. Well, Jivan, I'll come back to the question what you asked me uh, uh, before the break. Uh, this kind of lead, a uh, couple of points or two or three points in this format, uh, really does not. Uh, I mean, it's not a big lead uh, considering uh, this format. So it it it's quite uh, possible that they can overcome this kind of lead. Just wide. Again, perhaps a bit of drift on that. And you knew when Mitani was with her back to the net, Saini was approaching the net where that was going to go. 
That was great, played behind the player, and you can just see. So 12-10. And we should be seeing that lady a little bit later on. It was one of those strange things you see. Most people, of course, wait for it to get to the back line and look down at the line, but she just literally wafted her racket out of the way. That's another point. Oh, what a pinpoint cross-court smash that was. Absolutely, uh, Saina is looking in complete control. She has got back her momentum again, which she lost uh, for maybe about three to four points in between. But she's still on there. She knows what she wants. She has to do against Mitani, and she's doing just the right way. And you can see Mitani just taking a little bit longer to get up. I did say yesterday that her right leg quite taped, and when she was stretched yesterday in the in the Danish quarterfinal, you did see her struggling a little bit and she seems to be walking fine now she's got everything to do here at 14 10. now of course Tripti Sainet will is set should it get to uh, the fifth fixture to be playing a doubles match with PV Sindhu as well so yes of course uh, that's going to be uh, really interesting uh, but uh, from India point of view, uh, let's not hope it reaches up to the fifth well, match and they finish it uh, much before that. Because, uh, they, uh, definitely because the Indian strengths are in their first three matches, uh, fielding uh, the top players what they have in the world right. rankings. So they will definitely uh, look forward to finishing 3-0. That's a little bit more aggressive for Mitani. here the problem here for Mitani is that the only way she can recover from the smash is the lift and if the lift is too high then it invites the second smash and the third smash and Saini is just a better smasher yes there you see uh, the way Saina is creating that opening for herself playing beautifully down the line and just getting ready for that weaker return so 16 10 now looking in total control Now, Tripti, what can Mitani do at this stage? It's 17-10. It's got to be demoralizing for anyway. Yes, it's, it's a bit too late uh, uh, to do. Uh, or the only thing she can do is try a different strategy. Uh, try uh, and, you know, uh, counter what Saina is doing. Uh, avoid the... She, she, Mitani hasn't been defending well at all. saina has got all her points on her smashes. So at least look look at the thing that where she can defend more better. So the points keep racking up for India. The noise level keeps increasing in the auditorium. And as you can see, and her teammates as well, very, very happy. Courts three and four, of course, have been deconstructed, shall we say, for semi-finals day. And they are now staging areas for the competing teams. And that one's out. So, Sainé Newal, two points away from clinching India's first important point in this semi-final. Outclassed by Saina, yeah. 
Uh, absolutely good thinking, but of course uh, she is uh, leading way too much. Now at the match point, and she's got another 10 uh, match points to hold for. And the strange thing is, as we'll remind you, from the fast end of the court, the court that is usually more difficult for some of the other players, well, Sainia has made a field day out of it. Uh, I think she would have liked it a bit of drift on that little drop shot. But as you said, she has so many match points. And I'm sure she can afford that. trouble no can cause for concern yet yes but then I think China should uh, wrap it up as uh, early as possible uh, just in case uh, I mean basically not tire herself too much just in case if it goes up to the fourth uh, I mean the fifth match then she has to reserve her energy very good point and that one's wide and she's done it 21 12 21 13 Saina Newal has clinched India's first point against Japan in this semi-final. You can see she's just running up there to some congratulations from her coaches. And the fans are loving it. So far, it's just as commanding a performance as they put in against Indonesia last night. Final point. Wide from Mitani. So, 41 minutes, 21 12, 21 13. 